Right, okay, last time you saw this I do believe it was up in the air and you'll have to forgive me, I've not been doing any videos I had to rush to get this thing on the road because I just know there was something that I wanted and I just know that if I didn't get it soon I would have missed the opportunity to get it Okay, so also, those of you who know um, I have actually been out and dri dri uh, driven the van um, it drives really nice with all the new bushes on the back um, underneath it looks fantastic let me just get my torch out of here and I will show you how good this looks where did I put my torch? there you've never seen a Citroen dispatch van look so clean underneath so already we're greeted with the very adequately, amply painted tow bar um, yeah, I did go out with all the wires uh, dangling on the ground <laughs> just taped off, I wondered why my indicators were flashing when uh, when I was pressing the brake lights that's because uh, the cables have joined themselves together here <laughs> no fuse blowing yet, but uh, let's have a look what this looks like under here shall we let me just screw my torch together, there we go I always crack the torches to stop the batteries from going flat oops, smack my camera there you go, how's that looking guys? well, people look at that these two bowls that go across, look how beautifully painted they are how long it could last for is anyone's guess, but so much better than the rusted mess they were before coil springs have been painted too um, yeah, it was starting to, you know, go a little bit on the uh, on the rusty side. So I thought I'll nip that in the bud now, rather than have to worry about that in the future. All the rear axles been painted. All the all the cups and things have. I could do with going over it again. Um, the bit inside was painted four times, I think, but the bit on the outside was just literally what was left on the brush, painted around the outside. <clears throat> the back plates on the brakes they were also repainted um, all wire brushed down with a Dremel and a little wire wheel thing that was on the Dremel I've worked on this net offer for quite a while doing this as you can see it's looking fairly good tow bar took some bloody under seal off which I'm annoyed about but I can soon touch that up uh, the tow bar was pretty difficult to get back on to be honest the tow bar has been painted about four times as well you can see I originally did it with red paint and I've gone over it once with black exhaust is a bit of a nightmare to get on <laughs> uh, it almost touches here uh, while, I was while I was trying to wiggle the exhaust on I uh, was hitting it against the tow bar all, all, you know, all over the place and knocking paint off left, right and centre uh, something I don't want to do but so nice so nice no rust we don't like rust none of us like rust yeah pretty good look I've got new brake pipe flexes in there as well somewhere around near the front you can just see them I think can I zoom in on those through the coil springs let's see if I can there we go Brake pipe flexi, brand new, beautiful. That's on both sides as well. 11mm unions, if ever you wanted to know. Weird size. The, the, well, I say they're 11, they're like in between 10 and 11. Because you put an 11mm brake pipe spanner on it and it's loose, but the 10mm won't fit. And it's not down to rust because the unions on this thing are in really, really good condition. Like I say, someone very early on in this van's life actually greased all the brake pipes um, and they did all the unions too and there's no rust or corrosion they're still bright and shiny uh, like the first day they come out the factory really nice much more pleasant to work on than uh, having say a 30 year old Fiat <clears throat> but we won't talk about that uh, I've took the stills out and chucked them in the shed and now I've got a bit of space in here as you can see so Let's try and get that uh, bulkhead in. It's starting to spit with rain, so beautiful. I am going out in this tomorrow um, to a friend's house. He wants to see it, so <laughs> he's like, "How much of the camper conversion have you done?" And I'm like, "Oh, nothing yet. I've been working underneath it." He's like, "Oh, show me it now. It's on the road." 
Okay. <laughs> uh, give it a bit of a run, give the battery a bit of a charge going out. Um, I can't stress how impressed I am with the, uh, the Lucas brand battery that I've got on this thing. I mean, I've always seen Lucas as quite a poor brand, to be honest. Um, you buy their rubber boots and things. They're horrific. They're not very nice at all. Um, but, yeah, the, uh, yeah, rubber boots and, what do you call it, um, CV boots. I had some Lucas brand CV boots on one of my old Fiat's and they only lasted a year before they'd split and let all the gearbox oil out. The hell's all that about? Um, just got some cheap universal ones on it now and they've, well, they've been on it now for six years and without any signs of breaking yet. So, huh. Go figure that out. Um, now as you know, uh, this bulkhead thing has been a pain in the arse and I'm, I hate the damn thing and I don't want to use it. Uh, so I actually went out I managed to get myself... Uh, it's, okay, it's an aftermarket one, but it's a bulkhead. Um, this is uh, one made by, is it Vanguard? This is Vanguard. Yeah. Well, I managed to get this from out of uh, obviously another Citroen dispatch. Um, that was in my local vehicle dismantlers. <clears throat> Good old Albert Looms, if you know them. Um, I'm pretty sure. Well, they should be UK famous by now. They're a fantastic little uh, little yard. Well, not so little. Quite a large yard full of all different cars to go to and take the bits off you want. Um, so I very quickly pulled this out. Uh, there's a bit of damage done to it where they had some shelving in the back screwed into it which is only some tiny holes. But this thing's going to get covered in... Um, what's it called anyway? It's very loud. If you, uh, I can imagine how loud this was when you're going down the road. The whole thing rattles around and Oh yeah, it's not very really pleasant, so one of my plans to do with this is take it all apart and put um, some of that foam, um, closed cell foam, just the thin stuff, the stuff I've used here, this is six mil stuff, um, just in the gaps, just so as it, okay, I mean, as it rattles around, that bolt's pretty tight too, but as it rattles around it'll just make it a little more quiet. Um, should be nice and easy to do. Um, and so my plan for this is to obviously fit it in the back of this at some point. I don't know when. I'll probably try it today, take all this lot out. Um, modify it how I see fit, because one of the things I would really like to do with this is to be able to tilt my seat back all the way so I can still get into the back of the van or from the back into the front of the van without opening the door or coming out and going around again. Um, I think that's a really naff idea but at the same time I still want the protection of something being behind me because there's a pretty heavy fridge there and if this van ever you know crashed or I had to swerve into something to uh, avoid something else, a lesser of two evils, <laughs> I don't want that fridge coming and whacking me in the back of the head. That wouldn't do me any favours, I don't think. It's probably the reason why they always put the stuff on the opposite side of the van. But, uh, I'm just weird and I chose to do it this way around. Um, so, yeah, I've got to take this out, which is a bit of a shame, to be honest. But hey how it's a necessity that uh, has got to be done. I'm kind of hoping that I can leave this wooden beam in. Uh, maybe auto carpet over that, but put the thing behind it maybe and screw through into it or screw through from the other side into it. Um, it's not got the usual bit at the top what they normally have. Normally on the other bulkheads they're, they're like a lip and the lip uh, has got bolt holes in it and it actually screws into um, these things uh, in the roof 
Uh, the only good thing I can think of with this is I should be able to modify it slightly. So with it only being held in with two bolts at each side, this put the upper part, I should be able to bring it out and in a bit. Okay, I'll have a little bit of a gap, but I can fill that with whatever. Um, and then also carpet over it to hide all the sins. Um, so then my plan is that I should be able to have the seat at whatever angle and have a nice flat back, because that would be quite nice to have. Um, alternatively, it doesn't really matter too much because a lot of this is going to be uh, cut away and got rid of, this top piece, because I am still having my cupboard at the top, so all of this at the top is going to be done away with. Um, I probably will make some form of steel structure around it to beef it up a little bit. But the cool thing is with that is it's welding and I can, I can do that. Alternatively, I could leave this in, modify this wooden structure, um, and just place this over the top of it. Again, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, the wooden structure would be more beneficial, I do guess. So again, we'll just see how it plays out. If that fits perfectly over this, then I'll leave that in. Um, but I probably will have to change this top bit, uh, bit around. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bottom bit will be fine. And obviously if I do want to make the seat so it tilts back, I have got to really uh, change all this. Um, probably to the point of cutting, well maybe not cutting a corner out, because I think it will fit through that gap. Um, but again, what I need to do is get it into situ. I'll probably take this out anyway. Um, get it in situ, bolt it in at the bottom and, uh, well, yeah, just the bottom. And what I'll probably do is I will go around the seat with pen on the back of this to make sure that I get the right size, if that makes sense. And obviously when I've done that, I will then see to it with the angle grinder and cut away, trying and get it as good as I can. Um, and if not, it's made out of steel, I'm covering it up so I can just weld it together if it's all wrong. <laughs> like it matters. I much prefer steel, so much easier to repair. You alright folks? Got uh, thunderstorms on the way. Just tracking them on my phone here. The little rings that are expanding out is the sound wave from the thunder crash. So, let me get another one strike around that down here somewhere. There's a two second delay on this, on this app. Well, yeah, 2.2 seconds at the moment. If we get another lightning strike, we should... Uh, oh, here we go. So when you hit see that come to where I am, just here, you'll probably hear the thunder crash. I'll stay quiet. And there it is. That's pretty accurate, right? <laughs> How cool.